Good evening and welcome to Nightline Africa. We are coming to you live from the English to Africa service of The Voice of America. Thanks for joining us. I'm Peter Clute in Washington, D.C. But the opposition leader denies the charges, saying they are politically motivated. Hamini, a former Speaker of Parliament, says he plans to run for president in 2025. He tells me that it appears the prosecutors did not have evidence to convict him of the charges against him. Well, uh, I'm not surprised because uh, right from the start I knew it was uh, all uh, uh, malicious. Um, the uh, prosecution had no evidence whatsoever. And uh, I knew that the prosecution itself was a malicious one, um, uh, frivolous, vexatious, and it was politically motivated. I, I am not surprised that they dropped it because I knew there was no way they could have convicted me. They well, had no evidence. Well, Dr. Hemini, the report says that you were charged with the possession of items intended for use in witchcraft, conspiracy to perform witchcraft, and procuring services related to witchcraft, according to local media report, as I said. So why do you think this is politically motivated when you were caught? No, 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 no. I was never caught with any item. Uh, 50 armed police officers searched my office, and they found absolutely nothing. So I was charged with soliciting witchcraft uh, for for whatever purpose. No, at no material time was any any object found in my in my office that's completely false it's not true uh they came and they saw nothing there was absolutely nothing are you going to compete in next year's general election as a uh, opposition leader yes obviously uh we will finalize everything uh, on the 2nd of june uh i will officially announce my uh candidature sure i will contest what do you think your chances are very high because the people uh, they are very dissatisfied and very disappointed with the performance of this government uh the the people is poorer now than they were before than they were four years ago and there's a lot of uh, frustration and dissatisfaction in the country right now there is a general consensus that this president must go but what makes you so confident because remember it, the power of incumbency is very strong and he was elected before you see peter we are now as a political party we are now pulling bigger crowds than the government in rallies and protestations and uh, and uh, we we're doing uh door to door almost uh, every week and uh, we we know w w what the people we have our fingers on the pulse of this nation and we know very, very for sure that um, the, our support is increasing on a on a daily basis. Analysts will tell you that the fact that you are pulling a lot of crowds does not necessarily translate into voting for you or for a candidate during elections. Well, well, uh, I, I, will, I will have to go with the tradition here. The party which pulls the bigger crowd has always won the election. You see. So obviously, it doesn't mean that it will translate into vote into votes for for my party, but we we are confident. We are confident that we will uh, we will uh, succeed. We will be we will form the next government in 2025. There is absolutely no doubt about that. Well, so so where do you go from here after the charges against you were dropped? Well, I, I'm discussing uh, with my lawyer whether we're going to sue the government for malicious prosecution. Um, um, we, I think we've almost decided that, yes, we should. But the, the caveat is that uh, uh, the country's economy right now is so bad. Uh, we, like, you know, we've just had uh, an explosion uh, in an industrial estate, mainly due to the negligence of this government, um, that we feel it wouldn't probably be right to... Uh, request money from the government. You see, because uh, at, at the end of the day, it is uh, the taxpayers who will be paying and not President from Kalawan or anybody else. So this is, these are our considerations right now. Yes, we have a case. There's absolutely no doubt about it. But should we go ahead with it? 
given the economic, the prevailing economic situation in our country. Patrick Hemene is main opposition leader from the United Seychelles Party. He spoke with me from the Seychelles capital, Victoria.